Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. It is time to get rid of the throttle lag in my new 2023 Toyota Tacoma with, of course, the Pedal Commander. We're going to be installing this today. You know, I had wondered when I got this truck if I was going to have the same issues, throttle lag rather, that I had in the other trucks that I've had, the other Tacomas, and I'm here to tell you I do. The Toyota Tacoma is just gutless without the Pedal Commander. If you're not familiar with it, it gets rid of throttle lag. It also has an Eco mode. There's actually four modes, Eco, City, Sport, and Sport Plus. You can certainly find something that you're comfortable driving in for sure. I preferred in the other trucks, Sport 3. We're gonna see if it makes any difference in this truck. Now, as far as the install goes, pretty simple to do, it's plug and play. The first thing you wanna do is take your keys, if you have a, a push remote, which I think everyone does now, and put it at least 35 feet away from the truck. That's because you want the truck to stop communicating with that fob so that everything shuts down electronically, so that you don't get any check engine or air codes on your screen. Pretty simple to do, just get it out of the way. Secondly, and this is how I do it, open the door and make sure you've got the seat pushed back so that you don't reactivate everything once you discover you need more room in here. But open the door, you'll see on the screen the little picture of the truck with the door open. Now, when that goes away, that is when the computer system has shut down. That's kind of how I gauge when it's safe to go ahead and do the install. Now, I started that process at 841. It's 924 now. I've discovered it can take anywhere between 30 minutes and an hour for the truck to completely shut down. That's very important. Make sure that you do that. Now, while you're waiting for the truck to shut down, you can get to one of the best features of the Pedal Commander, and that is Bluetooth. Go ahead, download the app, it's Pedal Commander, and do the little registration thing to set it up. Now, one thing I want to mention, you are going to need the serial number, which is located on that little white tag you can see right there. It's going to ask you for that once you have the Pedal Commander installed and you're activating or initializing the Bluetooth connectivity. Now, the other thing I really love about the Pedal Commander is the control head. You guys can see it right there. It's nice and big. It looks good and you don't have any problems hitting it if you're not going to be using Bluetooth. Me, I go ahead and use the Bluetooth app if I want to change the settings. Now, while the truck is waiting, let's go ahead and unbox this, take a quick look at what's included in the package. And speaking of the package, you can't beat the way they send it out. Nice, sexy looking presentation. You know, you can always tell if a company really cares about the product in the way that they package it. By the way, there will be a link down below if you're interested in checking out pricing. You'll also get a discount. If you click that link, go over to Pedal Commander and pick one of these up for yourself. Now, inside you get a little sheet that has a little code on the back. You can click that if you want more detailed, I guess, instructions, but you don't really need those if you just watch my video. Then, of course, you have the controller head here itself. Let's go ahead and pull that out. We're going to go ahead and remove the whole top. Underneath is the wiring, and this is what makes it so simple. All you have to do is unplug the existing wiring in the truck. It's the little plug right above the gas pedal, and then put this in in between. It's that simple. Route it to where you want it, and you're good to go. Let's go ahead and pull this out of here. I'll let you see it without the uh, packaging encumbering it. There you go. That's what it looks like. Compared to my hand, not too big, but not too small. As far as what else you get, you get a little alcohol swab so that you can clean up the area you're going to stick this to, which is a combination of two Velcro pads so that you can put one on the back of the pedal commander and then one wherever you're going to stick this to that, so you have access to it. Now, you do have the option, since this remembers the last setting that you put on, even after you turn the truck off, to just tuck this underneath somewhere if you don't want to use this and you prefer to use the Bluetooth, uh, the app, which is what I'm going to do. 
Lastly, you've got a couple of zip ties just so you can tie the wiring up underneath. We are ready to install. You can see the gauge cluster has gone blank. It took about 50 minutes or so for that to happen in my truck, and that does vary. But make sure that that light goes out, or that little picture of a truck, before you do the install. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run the wiring right through here, down to the pedal. And then I'll probably mount it right here permanently, or just tuck it underneath if I decide I don't want to have it visible. We shall see. Right here is what you want to remove. And there's a tab right there, and I'm assuming, yeah, on the other side, squeeze those together and pull up. Okay, here's a tip for you. Uh, right here, on the one that's on the inside, you see this little indented area? That's what you want to push in. Uh, for the most part, that's what releases it. So in between these two edges, you push that in and pull it straight up. It's really not too bad once you do that. Okay, we have the pedal commander here. Now, you really can't screw this up because it only goes on one way, and that is this way. You can't see too well, but you want to push it in until it clips. You should hear that, hopefully. Here we go. There you heard the clip. That takes care of the one side, and then the other side we want to plug in right up here. And that's going to be... Let's see, it should only go one way, and that's going to be, let me take a look at it, that's going to be this way, I believe. Let's see how it fits, just like that, and then we should hear another clip, just like that. That's it, that puts it on, we are connected. Now I'm just going to kind of tie the wiring up a little bit under there, and then we'll fire up the truck and take a look at it. We've got the pedal commander all installed and I actually have it sitting right down here for now and that's because um, I'm gonna mount it somewhere other than right over here. I mentioned here but I'm not gonna put it there. I'm actually gonna put it right over here, right on this edge, right here. Now, I'm not putting it up there yet because I have another mod coming where I have to remove this panel. So, I don't want to stick it up there and then have to take it off again. So, for now, I'm just going to have it sitting right there. Okay, you can see the power is back up. The dash has lit. We're going to go ahead and start the truck up. This is the first start, so if any errors or anything are going to happen, you're going to see them with me. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and start it up. There's my dash, you guys can see it. Uh, no check engine lights, no issues, nothing weird. So make sure you do the install as I pointed out in the, uh, in the beginning there. Now, let's go ahead, I've got the Bluetooth up in front of me. I'm gonna go ahead and click add a device. Oops, scan again, there we go, that's what I want. And you see right up it says Pedal Commander. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that. And then it's going to ask for the code. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that code. And then it wants you to name your pedal commander. So I'm going to go ahead and name it, uh, I'm going to name it PC for pedal commander. You can call it whatever you want. There we go. And you'll see it's initializing. By the way, the pedal commander comes up and it is on Sport Plus right off the bat. You can see it lit up right there. Now. There it is, it's got my devices, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click on that. And we should have the Bluetooth screen, and there you go. That's where I'm set right now. You can see, it. interestingly, it gives me the temperature outside, 82 degrees. That's kinda cool, now that's something new, or at least I never noticed it before. But we're on Sport Plus. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to Sport, and then I'm going to go to 3. So we're going to bump that up. You might be able to see it, hopefully, coming up. I've switched cameras uh, because uh, I wanted to show you guys the screen. So we're on Sport 3. Now, we're going to go ahead, go for a ride, see what it feels like, because I want to know what it feels like otherwise. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Uh, because I want to start from scratch once I get to where I'm going. So I'm just going to 
push the button right there and now we're off and you can see down here on the controller it's off as well okay i'm out here in the wilderness uh, we've got it still turned off you guys can see right there still no check engine lights or anything funky on the screen let's go ahead and power it up there we go now i'm gonna go ahead and select uh, let's see i'm gonna go with my normal sport three it's already on sport so now let's go to three now i'm gonna go ahead and take off we're gonna see uh, what it actually feels like uh, from the takeoff. I'll tell you, it was a dog getting over here, so here we go. <laughs> just, just like I remember it. Uh, it's just awesome. The difference it makes is amazing to me. You know, it feels fun, you know, and it, it's good, I think, to every once in a while, uh, turn it off, turn it, turn it down, uh, just so that you can remember what it feels like to have the pedal commander installed because I think after a while we kind of get used to stuff now one thing I do want to mention about changing the settings uh, you are supposed to be at a stop you don't want to change to a different setting while you're actually moving don't have to put it in park or anything but just be at a stop Anyway, that is the install. I know the video is starting to get a little bit long, but that is the install of the Pedal Commander. I highly recommend it. Again, there is a, a link down below you can click. Uh, it'll allow you to save a little bit of money on this thing. If you're driving a third gen Tacoma or any vehicle that has lag, this is not just for the Toyota Tacoma, by the way. Any vehicle that has lag, do yourself a favor, make driving fun again, and pick up the Pedal Commander. If you've got one, leave a comment. I'm always interested to hear from people that have these so we get other perspectives than my own. It's awesome. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels, Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay quick out there. Bye.